region and always one to be cherished. Who will go down in history as the winners of the FA Cup? They take on Crystal Palace live. At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson. And we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It's Arsenal up against Crystal Palace. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Leandro Trossard plays with Bukayo Saka on the flanks. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And here's the Palace 11. Well, they're going to play with two wingers in this 4-3-3 formation, so they need to switch the ball quickly and get crosses into the box. But they also need to get at least two midfield players making runs into the penalty area. That's a must. Now he must favour the cross. And Kai Havertz. Rice. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, Derek, he's certainly the man to watch. In the last game, scored those three goals, but his general play was outstanding. He looked a threat whenever he got the ball, and I'm sure he's going to be the same threat today against this defence. Will Hughes... Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. Palace now in potentially a dangerous position. Well, they know how to pass the ball and at pace. Will Hughes. Arsenal have it back. Ben White. And here's Saliba. Partey, Declan Rice, good technique displayed, and there the move ends for now, Munoz, this is Clyde, real determination and the challenge, a throw in here. Anderson. Ball retention so important. Munoz. Now with Mateta. And a strong tackle. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Will he find the net? Tenacious tackling, excellent defending there. Effective piece of pressing. Jean-Philippe Mateta. And drawing it back. Well, it did look promising, but no threat in the end. Martin Odegaard. And Palace with the ball again. Good run, very much in control of the situation. Could cross it in here. Philippe Mateta. 
Well, there we have it. We're at the halfway mark now here at Wembley. So back underway here into the second half. Committed challenge. Munoz. Attacking possibilities for Palace. Bit wasteful from Palace. Munoz. Free kick awarded then by the referee. Stopping the danger. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. Will he shoot? The fans hope so. Opportunity. Oh, there it is! Arsenal hit the front in the final. And just listen to their supporters. Exactly what they were hoping for. Well, here it is again, and the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger, and show more urgency. None of which they did, and that's the result. So, Palace get the game restarted. Disappointed to have conceded. Now can they come up with a quick response? White. 30 minutes left for play. Ben White. Saka. It's with Erdogan. And promising stuff from Arsenal. Can he take advantage? Oh, a vital piece of last ditch defending. Munoz. Decent progress with the ball at his feet. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Will Hughes. Tyrick Mitchell. 20 minutes to go in this one. Ezzy. They can keep possession now. Pressure applied. The Gunners have lost the ball. Moving forward effectively. And great work to confuse the defender. And his teammate got him out of trouble. Martin Odegaard, Havertz, White, William Saliba, Ben White, and Palace did well to win back possession. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Hughes. This could be the equaliser. 
He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Jean-Philippe Mateta. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Trossard. Ben White. And now with Havertz, this could be it, and it goes! And surely that's the end of the story, they cannot throw us away from here! Well, let's take another look, and it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. And there it is, the final whistle. Cup success is theirs, and they've done it on merit. Look at these scenes. Well, on the evidence of the